Hi Sandy. Uh, so where talking to you, you have joined up with us this summer, came to us first of all on trial um, and you're going to be part of our senior academy for the season, is that right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so how, how did it come about then, you arriving in Newcastle? Uh, I was playing in Hull last year, last season, Hull Unions, uh, National to North. We finished the season and then through Juan and Alice Crockett, which is a former Falcon, he's training in Hull Unions. Uh, they had a chat with Dean and I just came over here for a trial to see how it goes and I end up staying now, so really happy about that. Awesome. So when you came to play for Hull, was that the first the first time you'd come over to the UK to play rugby? Uh, I first came here to Hull RUFC, which is another team in the same place, same area. Uh, that was 2013-14. Played there the whole season. Then last season I played for them the first couple of months, six, seven games, and then I just felt I, did, I didn't feel good and went back to Argentina back home over the summer and then, well, over the winter, the English winter, sorry. And then Hull Unions brought me back in February. Uh, so I played the last 10 games and we got promoted and then I'm here now. Yeah. Awesome. And how is it um, coming up here? Obviously you said that you'd, you'd worked with Alex Rocker at Ionians and you've got Juan up here as well. So. Had they told you kind of what to expect from the Falcons and from Newcastle? No, uh, when I was in Hull this year, uh, I came to visit one a couple of times. Came to watch some games, and uh, I knew was what I was going to where I was going to be. But then, when I started training with the senior squad and with the academy squad and all that, uh, it was a big surprise because I've never been in a professional environment before. So it was great and feeling really comfy and really happy about that. Awesome. And you, when you came here, you came here as a back row and since then you've changed position. So how did all of that come about then? Uh, when I first came here, I, uh, over the summer, uh, I started training with the new academy players uh, and Jimmy Ponton came to me after a couple of weeks and told me uh, I should be playing hooker or if I want to give it a go. Uh, I really laugh about that the first time and then when we start training with the senior squad and uh, Sean Wells and Dean and Mickey Ward they came to me like uh, actually alternative or like proposal and I just gave it a go and I enjoy it it's difficult but I'm just like trying to do my best and hope it works out okay. and you're obviously training with the Falcons through the day sort of full time and then you're dual registered at Darlington Mountain Park as well. So you're you said you're playing hooker for them as well this season? Yeah. Yeah when when I got to stay here I uh, sorry I uh, I found out that I was uh, going to be dual registered with Mountain. So yeah I'm going down there train during during the week, Tuesday and Thursday night and then playing on Saturday. Which is to develop my hooker skills and my rugby there. Okay. So back to here then, you'll obviously be at the moment, obviously Juan's away uh, with Argentina for the World Cup, but how how are you looking forward to playing in the same at the same club as your brother? Well, uh, it's, w it's quite weird because our former club in Argentina, we played together a couple of games. We never play because he, of course, he's older than me when so when I got in the first team, he was already playing overseas. So he came back after playing in Nottingham, I think, like three, four years ago. So we played a couple of games in the first team in Argentina. And then we never played together. So I find now, uh, when I found out I was staying here, I just like, I don't know. I hope we get to play together sometime. Yeah. And what about um, sort of having having him right next to you in Newcastle as well, you know, at the moment, um, at the moment obviously he's away, but when he comes back and he'll be living down the road from one another again, that'll be quite nice. Well, yeah, it's going to be awesome, like, he's been helping me out so much, of course, because he's my older brother and he's my 
nephew of a kind here. I got like all my family back home, so he's been helping me out so so much, and I'm like uh, really enjoying it. Living at his place now. <laughs> uh, when he gets back, I don't know. Probably more now with the academy guys, and we'll see. But still training with him and getting him in, having him some uh, really close to me is going to be. I hope it's going to be. So Hans, obviously away at the World Cup at the moment. Will you be going to watch him? Right. Yeah, I got my parents, grandparents coming tomorrow, and we're going to go to try to follow the Argentina team around the United Kingdom on the World Cup. So yeah. We're gonna go watch. Hope he plays as much as he can. <laughs> How do you think they'll do? Uh, I hope they go as well. They got really hard first game against the All Blacks, Wembley, but then I think they're gonna go through their group stage. And I don't know. I hope they quarterfinals. They can make it, and then just I don't know. Hope they they go really well for my country and for my brothers, especially. And for you as well, what are your, for this season coming, what's your kind of ambitions for this season? Well, I really hope to be like settling here well in a professional environment, never been before. So, uh, like I say, changing position, I hope to like get better in that, all my technical mm, stuff and hope the best if I can get some game time, like I say, here or Mauden or whatever, just play as much as I can and get a high, higher level as I can. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>